Hello and welcome everyone, it's me Rob Civicat and today I planned something special in celebration of reaching 100 supporters over at Patreon. And also while I was making this video I also reached 1000 Twitter followers. Isn't it amazing? I'm so honored by all of your love and support and I hope to repay all of you for your kindness. For today I planned a character designing time lapse and while we're doing that I'm going to answer some questions that you have sent me through Patreon and Twitter. Some of you may have recognized the characters that I'm starting to draw here. For those who don't know who they are, they are the Arctic Vixen triplets. They are discarded characters from early developments of Zootopia. And some of you may know that they are going to play a crucial part in the comic that I'm currently working on, Mystic's Research. The reason I'm going to make my own character design for them is because, well, first off, there isn't many official references of them. And secondly, I want to give each of them a distinctive look, distinctive feel, to make them easily recognizable. There are triplets, but I think there should be a certain way to identify each character. As you just saw, I finished thinking up the general pose I will draw them in. So while I'm sketching up, let's get right into the questions. Let's make the following question. What's Utopia? character is the one you struggle the most drawing and who is the one you find the easiest? Mm, the short answer is Nick. I have so much trouble getting his nose, his muzzle right. Maybe I'm just beating myself up and try to be too on model all the time but I like the way he looks in the movie and I really just try to give that back in my drawings. On a related note I really got used to drawing Judy. I think I get her right with the most ease. Another question by Lansek. What inspired you to start drawing? Well, it's the lame answer is that you always get from most of the artists that they have been drawing since preschool. Uh, that's kind of true to me too. I don't really remember when I started drawing, I always loved it, I always loved to express myself that way. But if we turn the question into why I started drawing Stopia, it's simply the movie was so well written, the characters so engaging and the world so lifelike. I don't think I have seen that in any animation before and overall it leaves so much doors open for possible continuations. I have watched so many Disney movies and most of the time when the movie was over you felt like it was over but with Zootopia it just felt like the start of the adventure of Julie and Nick. Following question is by Anonymous. What do you want to see in Zoo 2? <laughs> well, if I would start listing everything I would be happy to see, we would run out of time. So I will try to make this quick. Obviously number one, I want White Loves to be confirmed. I just think that Nix and Judy's relationship has so much potential to grow further and overall develop into a romantic feeling. If it's not already developed, because the creators confirmed that they um, purposefully left it ambiguous, which means that they very well might be already together at the end of the first movie, but it's only a possibility and since they kinda said that if there will be a sequel they will definitely address whenever it's a yes or a no, I hope for a yes. Another thing, let's not only talk about fight hopes, I kinda want a better villain. I light Belvedere but I'm kind of tired of these twist villains. I'm kind of longing for the classic baddies like Hades, Jafar, Scar, Frollo. These classic baddies that 
you can watch how this came. I get it, it wasn't the kind of movie with stupid work that would have been possible. It was a detective movie, we only saw what Judy saw. And But if the sequel will be more of a crime-fighting movie than a detective movie, we could get a good villain going on. Hmm, what else, what else? It would be great to have some confirmation about what happened to Nick's dad, because in the concepts he had a very important role as the tailor who wanted to open a shop with his son, and I kind of liked that. He was an inspiring good dad figure, which is, is really missing from Disney movies. Most Disney movies, fathers are these overprotective barriers the protagonist has to come through or prove themselves to that they are ready or that they can do the thing that the father doesn't believe that they can do. I kind of get it why he was written out to make, give Nick a broken family which would amplify his cynical worldview, but at the same time I don't feel it a necessary move. It, it's not a requirement for someone to have his worldview twisted out to come from a broken family. So maybe he could be written back, brought back. I don't know. Following question is by Alec. Hello Alec. What's your creative talk process when making a comic? Well, I think it all starts with the idea. The idea can come from many things, simply a pairing, a situation, the characters or characters end up in, or just a theme. I think the best way would be to demonstrate is an example. Let's say the idea is Judy dresses up as a fox to win Nick's affection. That is a simple idea, a simple picture. How do I make this into a comic? Now, once I have this idea, the first thing I do is try to make sense of it. Why would Judy do this? Why would she dress up as a fox? This has several explanations. Maybe she just believes that Nick is not uh, attracted to her because she's a bunny but that raises the question why would she think that and so on and on i go with the question asking my own plot raising questions have a conversation with myself about how does it make sense does it make sense until the answer that i'm coming up with can be looped back into a character trait driven answer or something that doesn't raise more questions maybe something like judy just simply didn't realize that nick was attracted to her because foxes express their interests differently than bunnies do and once i have this general script ready the general idea I start to plan out the pages, maybe not all the pages, only the most important moments, and as I approach those pages, I plan out uh, the in-between sections, and from that point, it's just sketching and the actual drawing. Hope I could provide an answer to your question, Alec. Good also made me some questions. Hello, Good. When did you start consider drawing as something you might be able to do for money slash job? Well, when the first person came to me asking for commissions, I didn't even have any a price chart or previous references, and I certainly didn't consider myself that good that I should ask money for my art, but I think it just happened. Another anonymous question. Who do you like more, Nick or Judy? No answering both. I would have to go with Nick. I love Judy. I would even say I'm in love with Judy. But I just found Nick as a more relatable protagonist. And overall, his character arc, his entire character development is more interesting. Question by Beeman Lego Boy. What's your favorite part about making comics, whatever that being writing, drawing, coloring, etc? I would say the sketching. It's the it's one of the longest and most frustrating parts, the most complicated parts, but it's the most rewarding one. It's when your the thing that was only in your mind before starts to take shape in a physical form 
and it's really a uh, emotional process. Tony V asked, which character in Zootopia or Backstreet would you want to really draw, but hasn't been requested? Asked of you. I think I need a shot at a Avu from Backstreet. Maybe Charlie. Uh, hey, heck, most, most of the Backstreet OTs are ass. I mean, I really would be happy to draw them. Zootopia. I'm really looking forward to draw Finnick. Maybe Bogo. A little more of maybe Clawhauser. And Honey Badger, maybe even Chris. Uh, there is a lot. There are a lot of options. Another anonymous question: What kind of world-building canon would you put into the Zootopia universe? Simple: Canonized that only mammals have evolved. There have been a lot of discussion that Zootopia choose to only represent mammals because that's where the prey-predator relationship can be represented in the most clear way. But I think that also helped create, help make Zootopia into a very unique place. And I want to keep it that way. I also think that making sentient birds and lizards suddenly and not explaining why is that they weren't present in the city would kind of demolish the world building. GN Squire asked, Hello GN, what do you think of written fanfiction on fanfiction.net? If you don't know what to read, I recommend hardly Guardian Blue. I don't read too many fanfictions, with the exception of those that cater a huge following and respect of fellow artists, because I have been in many anime fandoms in the past and I have spent a lot of time getting too attached on random, very long, dozen, maybe 20 or 30 chapter fanfics that eventually got dumped or not finished or turned to the worst. I just think there is that saying, if you can't tell a good story in one page, you won't be able to tell in 120 page. But Guardian Blue is something that has been recommended to me by many and I will definitely try to check it out if I have the time. And last question for the night is also anonymous. Bearing any pairing involving Nick and or Judy, what Zoot character, Canon or OC, do you ship the most? That's a tricky one. I think there is important to differentiate simple pairing from shipping. I think pairing simply put two characters together because they look fun and kinda sexy. It's different from actual shipping that requires more of an emotional connection to those characters. When we talk about shipping, at least when I talk about shipping, I think of characters that I want to be involved in each other's lives more than just uh, a, a quick intercourse. I want them to be in love, I want them to care about each other, and uh, when it comes to that, um, it will be hard to name any characters that I'm really involved on that level that is in Nick and Judy since we didn't really get to know any other character in the movie other than Nick and Judy. So I think the only viable answer is an OC and I think I have to go with Anakin and Remy from Backstreet. I know I, I really liked the recent interactions they had in the recent chapters. And I'm curious where it can go further. Favor really does an amazing job at representing and writing characters and making them feel alive and making the reader care for their fates. And with that, we reached the end of our question and ask session. And I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. It felt so good seeing that you guys were interested in hearing my opinion and having so many questions to me. I really hope that I could deliver and I hope that you had a great time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.